Who have we got? We are live in Ibrox Radio. Who have we got? D D Damien Henry. Damien Henry, how are you doing? Damien, how are we? First time call. How's things, mate? How are you keeping? First time call. Yeah, I'm good, mate. How are you? Ah, getting there, mate. Even better that Rangers were on TV tonight. Been great to see them. Been a long time. Exactly the same, mate. Exactly the same. How good is it just to have... I've had the telly on watching Rangers play again. Oh, it's been brilliant, mate. Excellent. So, what's your thoughts on the game? Who was your who was your man of the match? What's your thoughts? Do you know what? Ironically, um, might, look, might be a bit controversial this. Um, I think Brian Kent looked like an absolute standout to kill that red card. He actually looked like a £7.5 seven million pound player, possibly for the first time since we paid that for him. Mm-hmm. Um, he was a catalyst. He was lighting up the game. He was making it look exciting. He was entertaining to watch, he was creating opportunities, he was making, um, you know, ambitious passes and pulling them off. I think he was absolutely brilliant before the sending off, I think. Cause, you know, at, at the time I was thinking that spoiled the game, that red card. Um, but in, in some respects, following the red card and showing how well we kind of uh, still managed the game, uh, I think it was actually maybe in hindsight a bit of a welcome challenge. Because you know some of the some of the refereeing that we face in, in uh, uh, Scotland, um, and I think we handled it. We acquitted ourselves extremely well. I think um, against a good side. You're right. You're right there, Damien. Because I think I think you know before going into the games, I said earlier on, I'm thinking Rangers have never had a. You know, we've had a bounce game against Hamilton, but I've not played in nearly four months, and, and, and the training's no. been limited. Some thinking the worst. Some think this is going to be one of these games where we're going to be lacking energy. There'll be a few players maybe pulling a muscle here and there. But no, listen, I was impressed with that tonight. Yes, me too. And like, like you say, my expectations were very low as well, given the given the unique circumstances. As you say, the you know the length of time we haven't had any um, football at all. Never mind competitive football. Um, and Let's make no mistake about it. It's a friendly in name and nothing else. I know you mentioned at the top of the show, you know, it's never a friendly with Rangers. But when you look at the way that Leon were playing, I don't think they were playing that as a friendly either. I don't think so. I, think so if... I, don't, I don't think you can take anything away from you, you know, by passing it off as just a friendly. Um, and as I say, with the sending off, which I, mean, I, I heard your, um, you're discussing your, your thoughts on that with the, with the last caller. I mean, I'll be open to interpretation, I'm sure, but for me, it's tit for tat. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe I send, maybe a soft sending off in a competitive game, but in a friendly, for me, no. No. See, I, I, I don't think. I think the referee was a wee bit it, it, too quick to react. As you say, in a friendly, you can maybe say, "Listen, calm down, boys." I mean, it wasn't exactly a, a punch. It wasn't, you know, it was just a wee tap in the face. Um, particularly given, as you say, particularly given the borderline red. Um, Against Jack minutes earlier. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Well, exactly. I mean, the boy, the boy Adelaide. Adelaide. His name is. Yeah. He challenged um, uh, Ryan Jack. You know, it was, it's quite. It's quite a, a, a sore one. And the referee <laughs> yeah. never, never even reduced a yellow. So, in contrast to what happened to um, Kent getting sent off, I mean, it's, it's quite. It's quite remarkable. But yes, yes. and that's exactly it. See, in the moment, you're thinking, "Oof, that was a sore one." But you're thinking, look, it's just a friendly. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. And then minutes later, to see <laughs> arguably the best player on the park up to that point getting sent off for for handbags, it's just you know. At, at that point, I'm thinking game over. This has ruined the whole thing. I was really looking forward to this. You know, I was like majorly spitting the dummy. But yeah. actually, as I say, it may have been a blessing in disguise because it's really give us an un- unexpected challenge, let's say, in game management. Um, and I think we handled it absolutely brilliantly. Uh, even when the young boys came on, I thought they did absolutely phenomenally well. The boy Mayo, I mean, you think about it, the boy Mayo's up against a guy like Dembele, uh, is, is, let's be honest, is, is not far away from being a, a main a main starter in the in the French national side, and you get the exactly. boy T- Terori as well. So I, I think the boys, Patterson as well, they they, they done really well. They did. They, I mean, I know they were only on the, on the part for maybe I think it was like 10, 12 minutes, whatever. But they they they, yes. they, they, they done they done themselves proud, and that's only going to add to the experience going forward. Excellent. Yeah, and it, oh, I think they, they showed flashes of. Little flashes of brilliance, I think, actually, in a quite a high pressure environment. Actually, it was uh, um, Edmondson as well. Even though there's no fans, even though there's no real fans there, there's not that kind of real actual 
pressure in the stadium. Mm-hmm. You've got the pressure of knowing that this is the first time that Rangers have played that, that can watch it for months. So they know that there's people watching them, you know what I mean? So... See, I the, think they've acquitted themselves brilliantly. See the way I look at it, right? This is this is this is the, the, the key factors, right? Rangers have, have Rangers have not really had a chance to train much t- together in, in a long time. Not had a, a proper game in a long time. The travelling alone, you know, travelling from um, the UK over to to Leon, then the next day playing a game of football that that adds to the the, the pressure of the, the squad. And I, I, listen, yep. I'm not going to get too carried away, really, because we played Marseille in a friendly at Ibrox, and we, we blew them away for nothing, and we thought we were going to go on at that year and win the league. But what I'm saying at this moment in time, I, I do believe what I seen the night is promising. I just hope we build on that. Yes, I agree, and I think I think you've touched upon a a, a key point there. Actually, I think the last few pre seasons we've looked very very good. Mm-hmm. And even we've even started seasons very well, but our problem is actually finishing seasons, as you know, as you well know. So this this is the big test is actually um, is actually keeping it going. Particularly, um, I don't know the situation with the winter break this year. Looking at the fixtures, it doesn't appear there's going to be one actually, which no. might actually work in our favour. Don't know, be. Will there be? I don't. I don't. There'll not be a winter break. Right. Well, there you go. Then there you go. So that can only be good for us because that's what's hurting us. The momentum. We get we get we get a ball rolling and then suddenly it gets stopped and then when you eat, it's almost like starting from scratch again. It's bizarre, but um, so, so momentum as well. Again, again, not getting not getting carried away as you say, but um, certainly some very very good very good signs tonight against a very good side. Listen, Damien, very good calls. Good to get you on the first time caller, and it's it's excellent. First time caller, don't be a stranger. Don't be a stranger. <laughs> not at all. Thanks for having me. Damien, thank you very much. Take care of yourself. Yeah. Let me speak to you very soon. Take that was Damien there. Damien, thank you. Bye. There we go, Damien. First time caller there. And let's be honest, guys. Um, the last you know few months, there's not been much to talk about on Rangers-related stuff because there's been no football. Simple. Um, but tonight there's been a game and there's loads to chat about. And it's just good to see Rangers back live on our TV screens. Um, uh, Rangers winning 2-0 over in Lyon.